Uh, R. Kelly. question is do you think that the media is too sensitive absolutely I definitely think the media is too sensitive on like both sides of the spectrum conservative liberal or however you want to look at it, it depends on the subject that we're talking about okay. so like give me a subject <laughs> I feel like there's a very fine line because now like people expect you to know like right and wrong they expect you to be woke they expect you to be like know all the cultures I think yeah because a lot of people like go back into like thousand something right. and bring up stuff for no reason. Right. I think that should be unnecessary because people change. Some people like to go a little too all out with what they say. Yeah, That's for darn sure. The media in itself is doing its job but I think like celebrities and, and like especially comedians I feel I feel like they should be left to do their own thing and that there really is no boundary and that like we shouldn't tell them how to act and think should be okay to say whatever you want but I think every person should have an idea that you know this is gonna be out there for the world to see so you should be responsible with what you say I feel like it just depends on your intention I think if somebody says something and it's like oh my god I didn't mean it like that like so sorry granted so many people do that but like if they really didn't mean it then it's like okay like g give the guy a break you know what I mean is there any celebrity or any artist that you were a fan of that sort of did something publicly problematic and they kind of got canceled um, no one I could, I mean I used to like kind West back like way back in like 2008 yeah. and then he just started saying like all this crazy stuff there's no question about it yeah. Kanye Omari West uh, I guess I'm a fan of Kanye and like you know he says a lot of like yeah type yeah. stuff so oh, wait am I allowed to curse her curse all you want all right yeah he's a lot of dumb so like yeah yeah that's my guy I mean one I've always learned how to separate the artist from the music but more importantly you know I'm willing to hear things that I mess that necessarily may not agree with. You know what I mean? Because that's how you have a progressive conversation. I remember Winnie. She's not an artist though, but she was a model. Yeah, that people. I recently. No, I've been. I know. I know about her because I watched America's Next Top Model religiously, and I knew. <laughs> I knew something was up. A lot of times when we hear somebody that who we don't agree with, it doesn't matter who it is, and. and media, of course, uh, we tend to dismiss them and call them crazy or whatever the case may be just because you don't agree with them. You know what I mean? So um, you kind of look like him. <laughs> Did people tell you that? That just triggered me. <laughs> um, do you think that if you were famous at one point, would you have been canceled or publicly? <laughs> Every time I'd be canceled. Yeah. Every minute I'm saying something dumb, like all the time. I probably would have just tried to stay out of that spotlight. You know, I think the way you really have to think about it is that's your profession and you can literally lose your entire profession by just saying something stupid. Is it really worth it to be remembered as that person who says that one thing or does that one thing as opposed to all the good things you did? Because, you know, you might set one house on fire and build a hundred bridges, but you're still going to be remembered as that guy who burned the house down. Right. Yeah. That was very profound. Oh, absolutely. Because I, uh, you know, even now I take the I take the 
the approach where I just I say was right. You know what I mean? And a lot of times that, you know, what's right or how how I think things should be, a lot of people don't agree with. I I won't say anything if I if I feel like it's gonna offend any party of the argument, which I don't think is that good because at the end of the day, you should be standing up for what you believe in. No, but I think I would have watched what I said, which might have not been a good thing. Like, I feel like as a person, you should be able to say what you want and nobody should tell you what you should think. So I think, it, I think it's like a, I don't know, it's almost like a scary road we're going down because we're kind of telling people what they can say and what they can't. Um, so what do you think should constitute to somebody being canceled? Like, do you think that there's some things that like off limits? Okay. Cultural appropriation, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a no, no, that's a no, no. Just really terrible. Right, terrible Perfect. Love that. I mean, I mean, I think that's the basics, you know, anything that involves, you know, you doing something with children. I got hat on a bindi and I was just like, should I do this? Should I? Should I? And I looked up. I looked about it. Like I, I read my information. I'm just like, this doesn't. This is collides with with my beliefs, and it collides with like other people. And I don't want to like make it make someone else's culture my costume. Right. So I feel like that's a number one. Uh, racism. Um, something ignorant. It really justified in the situation because a lot of times as everyday people we do things, and that we still keep our job. But you know, publicly, you know. Why can't somebody make a living because, you know, yeah, they feel differently or think differently. Did you like pop culture before it was hypersensitive or do you think that these boundaries need to be in place? It was before it was sensitive. Yeah, I feel like you better ask. <laughs> I feel like comedians did too. These boundaries definitely need to be in place because I feel like when we know who, which one of our faves aren't like following the code or aren't like being very respective to other people or they're just very problematic in that, in that way that they need to be cut. Mm, good question. I think. Thanks. <laughs> I guess boundaries. Boundaries do need to be in place, yeah. I feel like you can't say whatever you want to say anytime you want, you know what I mean? So. The, Twitter don't play. And like, as soon as I heard, like, I heard Sabrina Claudio, her. That's, that's She's not, on my list. She's canceled. I told my boyfriend, I said, I told all my friends who listen to her, I said, Sis, don't, don't, she's out. She's out. Yeah. she's out the picture. She's no longer involved in our playlists because of that simple reason, girl. Okay, I'm going to read you a list of some people, and you can tell me if you agree with the fact that they were publicly crucified. Right. That's cool. Kanye West these days is pretty canceled. Do you, uh, <laughs> what do you feel about that? If you don't like what they say, don't support their work. Right. Yes, definitely. <laughs> you agree with that? Yeah. Too? <laughs> it's like, he went through a lot of trouble with his mom and stuff, and like it's hard. I think he lost himself. Yeah, that's the thing is that he lost himself, yeah. and it sucks. I don't even like his music that much. I just think like he's a smart guy. Um, with him, like he's another guy. Like I respect him because I really don't think he's too political. I think he's just upset that people are telling him like how to think, and I think he's just he's like I'm gonna do what I want. Miley Cyrus. Miley. 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 <laughs> You're really boxing me in with these names, like. I, I haven't listened to her. I haven't caught up with her life since Hannah Montana, <laughs> since the climb, <laughs> since the climb, girl. So I don't know. Hope you're doing good, sis. I don't know what's going on though. Her house just burned out. Uh, I mean, that's kind of. No, nah, I wouldn't say that's something worth being banned. That's more like trying to change your, your, she didn't really say anything offensive or do anything like that. I think that's just trying to change the image to appeal to a wider audience. Both physically and verbally, yes, definitely. <laughs> with Kanye, some of the things he says I don't agree with, and I'm like, I really don't like him. So I'm just like, no, that makes me, that fuels my, my dislike towards him. But then with Miley Cyrus, she can say whatever she wants because I still, I'm still going to love her. So. Uh, she's iffy. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Taylor Swift. She played a free concert at my high school. I don't know anything besides that about her. Not really, no. It was just so stupid on everyone's end, honestly. It was, it was so dumb that it was huge. Like, even I was a part of it. I love Taylor Swift. Uh, R. Kelly. Oh, yeah. I know what he did. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, machine, machine Gun Kelly? No, I love Machine Gun Kelly. 
R. Kelly. Um, yeah, I, I, I think that's justifiable because that's more of like a serious action beside like that's seriously illegal and messed up. Yeah. Yeah, that's more so like jail time. All these kids, all these children in the concerts, front row seats, front row seats. R. Kelly, what are you doing? Kelly. Been canceled ever since you know the pissing thing. So like, yeah. Roseanne. I I don't even really know who that is. I mean, it's kind of like she apologized for it. And she, another one with her, like it shouldn't have been said, but she did, and she kind of came out and said like I didn't mean it in that way, and she didn't matter. Like she was just gone. I don't know. It's a tough one to lose a career yeah. over something that was interpreted one way. Tiger Woods. How did you feel about that? Tiger Woods. Yeah, I mean that's a good one. Like, okay, you know, all these people were calling for his money and calling for his job, but like. I'm pretty sure you guys are the same one doing whatever with your wife or, you know, or whatever the case may be. Like, yeah. we all are thrown, we all want demand perfection from everybody, but, you know, we're not perfect ourselves. Right. Like, quote, a quote, a wise quote. I like Tiger. He's like an amazing athlete. I think he's a great guy. Um, I think, like, when you're in that position, I think it's tough, like, to judge people because, I don't know, we don't know if, like, we were in that position, how we would act. And Kylie Sheen? Oh boy, you're boxing me in here. Uh, hey, hashtag winning. I wouldn't cancel him, but at the same time, I wouldn't respect him either. I think the, that's why you shouldn't do drugs. <laughs> if we took anything from that. If you're called an asshole or jerk, like, it's cool, like, you know, but just own it. Don't, you know, sit here and and try to have this perfect image, and the next thing you know, you fall off. Like, no, it's just, well, it's just have a toast to the douchebags. Yeah. Oh. Perfect. Oh, drop the mic!